For the first time, the Americans have shot down a Syrian fighter jet. The U.S. military issued a statement where it said pro-Syrian forces attacked their allies, the Syrian Democratic Forces, in a village southwest of Raqqa. They used the so-called deconfliction line with Russia to try to resolve the situation. But a Syrian jet came into the area soon after and dropped bombs near SDF positions, which is when a U.S. F-18 jet shot it down, they say, in accordance with the rules of engagement and collective self-defense. The Russians say it's a step towards a dangerous escalation and announce that they will no longer be using the crucial deconfliction line and will intercept any kind of aircraft west of the Euphrates. There's not that much real uh, a change on the ground. Uh, yes, they say that they're going to use the de-escalation channel. But then again, soon in the beginning of July, President Putin and President Trump will meet in Hamburg, and so that's where they can kind of uh, uh, bury the hatchet, so to say, and resume again uh, this de deconflictization because really, of course, no one wants to fight. And in another unprecedented move, Iran fired surface-to-surface -surface missiles at ISIL positions in eastern Syria. Pro-Iranian TV says this shows the moment of impact, but we have no way of independently verifying it. The Iranian Revolutionary Guard issued a statement saying it was in response to this. A rare dual attack in the Iranian capital earlier this month for which ISIL claimed responsibility. First uh, Iranian surface-to-surface -surface, uh, missile attack, I believe, since the Iran-Iraq war. Um, but it's part and parcel of a, a larger escalation Iran has launched in uh, eastern Syria over the past uh, six weeks or so. And uh, it, uh, of course, comes on the heels of this uh, ISIS uh, claimed attack. Yes, it's the first time that Iran has launched missiles into Syria, but there are wider geopolitical implications to this. Iran is sending the message that it can and will respond to any attack and that it has the capability to do so. It's a move that's going to be closely watched by Saudi Arabia, the United States and Israel. It's unclear how this and the downing of the Syrian fighter jet by the Americans will play out in the long term. But it's another reminder of just how internationalized and complicated the Syrian battlefield has become. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, Gaziantep.